Hi guys, you've guessed it. It's another Dane's Low Weekly. Yeah, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Morning team, Monday, another week, another Dane's Low Weekly. We, uh, me and Sam are spending the day in the office today. We've got about 12 quotes to get out and loads of stuff to do in the office. So yeah, not a lot of filming today really. These guys poured blocks this morning. They've just left to go to site there at the new yard. So blocks poured, lovely block. We're getting blocks poured. And I am just gonna load up one of our friendly customers with some 10 mil. I'll, uh, I'll try and get some filming in the office today. And we are going to take a trip down the yard. So I'll make sure I uh, fill you in when we're there. Okay, well, let's get this chap loaded. See you later. Deep in thought. Oh, how are you getting on there, Jack? Just doing a bit of scaling here on the old scaling measurement tool. Look at this. We are working one in 100 today. We have some plans for a new build garage that we are currently quoting. Garage slash huge workshop. Yeah, lovely workshop. So we're just quoting it up. So I thought I'd just work out the drainage run, how far we're going. And this little baby is coming in very useful. Isn't it, Jack? Yeah, well, I mean, I personally haven't got a clue how to use it. Because I just, yeah. It's one in 100. One in 100. So every one is actually two metres. Two metres? Yeah. What? How is it two metres? Every, every one. If every one, if it's, the scale here, look. if it's one in 100, how is every one two metres? There, look. There's the scale, one in 100 scale already on the plan. Yeah. So that's five metres. That's 10 metres. So 10 metres is actually five, five centimetres, I think. So you're halving it. But where, I don't understand the one in 100. Well, it's not for us to understand. What, <laughs> I, what I'm understanding is that it's working. All right, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So we are getting there. Yeah. Yeah. So we are we are deep into quotes today. Obviously, we saw it on Friday. We are having a bit of a quote session. We are on our seventh out of eight, aren't we? We just sent a really good one for a school. Uh, yeah, a, quite a big project for a school. We haven't done we've done a few jobs for schools, but nothing on this scale. So hopefully, we can get a foot in the door. Yes. And yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah, obviously not a lot of filming today because we are in the office, deep into it. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> okay. It's a bit windy, so if the sound quality is rubbish, I apologise. Uh, it seems to be mishap after mishap. Right, Chunky's been stripping out this port cabin. It's properly on the strip out. Got loads of gear. Can't really see though, I can. Got all the urinals and the cisterns off and the water heater and the shelves and the cupboards. Nothing is safe with Chunky around. But it's all bare around here, isn't it? Get all the lights off the ceiling. That toilet's gone. Oh, your urinal's still there. Well, I'll best get back over to the main water cabin. See you soon, Chunky. See you later. Okay, Chunky, I just got to keep on top of you, mate. No one speaks to me, mate. I think no one's going on around the hood, mate. You know what I mean? We need to know, Chunky, mate, because you don't talk to no one. It just happens, this stuff. The Yard Fairy. 
you know? Morning guys, Tuesday. Tuesday, 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 the day. Tuesday morning, Tuesday, Chunky, all day long. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Uh, loading people up. He is uh, customer facing today. He's practicing for when we get the yard open, you see. No, I'm just not taking payment. No. Yeah. That'll no, be a, that'll become a new thing. Oh I let him off. I let him off two times. Next door neighbours can do it. Is he really? Alright. Yeah. Anyway, we'll yeah, I'll just lock this up. Chunk, you're going back in there. Chunk, are you going back in there, mate? Huh? You're going back in there, are you? Yeah. Are you bringing the transit are you? Chunk, bringing the transit. Yeah. Are you bringing the transit, are you? Chunk, he's bringing the transit. So what's on the what's on the hype today? We've finished all our quotes. Uh, we've got them all sent out. We've got well, one's pending. Uh, just need to send that out later on. And yes, I think we are on uh, finishing woodwork and painting today. We are Jack. We're gonna get um, we're gonna finish all the woodwork and we're gonna get a color uh, a color of a lick of paint. A lick of paint. They're, they're gonna soak up the paint, you see. So I think we're gonna need at least three coats. Yeah. So we're gonna go and get some materials that we need for that. We are running low on rollers. So we're gonna get some rollers. Um, we've also, got loads of out of date paint to use. Yeah, we have. We've also got that floor paint for the workshop eventually. From Graham. We have, yes, that's out of date as well. Yeah, it's. Just come to our local paint supplier. Sam wants to buy a five gallon scuttle. Look at that, I've got liners and all sorts. Painting professionals now, you see. It's Dane's low decorating. <laughs> and the cheapest magnolia paint we can find. We were going to go white, but we had lots of Maggie left. There you go, look. You're like us, Pro professional. No, we are professional painters. Dane's Dane's low decorating. What, what is that one? This one is a uh, fifteen. Fifty. Well, what? You're not going for the five gallon? No. Oh, it's, it's already backtracked. How much is it? Twenty-five quid, mate. Single use for us, isn't it? <laughs> How many skins does it come with? They're separate, are they? Well, how much are they? Yeah. Ah, oh, right, cool. Yeah. Some nice poles. Alright, anyway, we're going to go buy, buy some more paint stuff. Morning, people. Oh, I've said that already, but we're at the yard now. We're at the yard. Look at a customer entrance. Lovely. So, what we're doing today, we are clearing all of this stuff out of here. This insulation is going upstairs for when we do the upstairs port cabin. Uh, not needed yet. Full boards, off cuts of board. We're going to stack where the stairs are going to go. Because again, we'll use these for upstairs. All the two for two. Probably in the container. Or maybe even upstairs. Who knows? Probably in the container though. And then, yeah, we're going to start getting painting. Sam's doing some windows. Look at this for a corridor. Look, we've got a corridor now. Look. So Sam is in the gents doing some window installation. Oh hi then, yes. Window installation. Obviously we've got an old window behind this bit. We have. That we want to leave in so Correct. the window is going there, urinal. Correct. Yes. Correct. Pooper. 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 What they say in French? That's a shit house. <laughs> shit house. We are Pooper and cleaner. We are putting a frosted window in here. Frosted window. As always in here guys. We are just making it up as we go along to we fit are, our needs. We are and our materials. And our materials, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. There's not many people that build a building to uh, to boards amount. <laughs> is there? Yeah, we, we, we have, have materials. 30 sheets of sterling boards, so that's as big as the room will be. So usually you go, right, this is what we want, what do we need? We've got this is what we've got, what can we build? <laughs> but it works. I mean we've got toilets, we've got corridors, we've got rooms, we will have stairs eventually, but at the moment this is gonna be our wood store. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving boards and we'll check in later. Oh, I'll show you the drainage connection as well because angling water came out last night and sealed off the uh, high pressure pipe they'd nicked. So they're cracking on now. So anyway, I need to crack on too. Will you? Chunky's uh, looking a bit confused at my uh, insulation removal skills. It's got to come out and we've got to put it up there. So I'm just sliding it out. No point stacking up nicely down there just to move it again. Lovely.
So guys, we're getting the insulation stacked up in the top porter cabin. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Some lovely safe working at high as ever with us at Dane's Low. Chunky's passing to me. I'm passing to the porter cabin. Jobs are good. Hey guys, toilet window fitted. There is a little bit of a crack on the inner pane, but again guys, we're working with the materials we've got. We've got that side window, that's the side window that's going there. Let's go and see inside see how light it is. Oh yes, lovely and light now, look. Lovely and light in the toilet. So you can sit on the toilet, open the window and have a lovely view of the road. Nice, and obviously we've got one to go up there as well. Lovely stuff. I'll put this lock back in. Light as ease. Right, it looks a little different to yesterday, isn't it, Chunky? Yeah. There's no ducks on it today. Water. No water. I think angling water were out last night, sitting it all sorted. But you can see all the services that go through the path. There's the uh, the purple ones there, are the fibre optics that we had fun with on the entrance way. I think that's the water main down there, isn't it? Six inch water main. And then that one there must be power. Electric cable. Yeah, electric cable. Lots of stuff. And somewhere down in that <laughs> hole is our. Hello, mate. How are you getting on? Oh, uh, nightmare. Uh, hand digging. Hand digging for the win. Nightmare. Well, let's get in there, Chunky. Chunky's still down here and he's in the... Uh, the chunky bric-a-brac sale. I don't know what area is left to strip. I'm surprised there's a port cabin left standing. Look, it's all laid out, it is, look, lovely. All laid out. This is, the, I reckon he had a nap, you see, after lifting all those insulation bags onto the transit. A little cheeky nap in there. All right, anyway, I think the kettle's boiled, so it's time for a coffee. These microwave piles are getting bigger. Yes. So try as we might to avoid cutting holes where old windows are, the shower falls right on this old window. And try as I might, I can't get these screws out, they just round off. So I'm going to grind all these off, get the window out, and then we'll just have to patch it back up. We have got some of this alley sort of sheeting from previous cutouts to use, so we use some of that. Oh, and also we had an electrician come to price up, put us a proper board in here, and apparently the cable that took me an hour to run underneath isn't big enough. So that's coming out, joy. So guys, that is the shower window in. Uh, just gonna put a little paint around it where we've put the new bit of tin on. So new, reused bit of tin. Uh, yeah, and we need to get some film, as in some sort of uh, opaque film to put over the window. Because the moment it's clear, and obviously that's the shower cubicle. So unless people walking past want to get a frightful sight, we need to put some uh, uh, frosted, uh, frosted film. There you go, I've got there eventually on the window, but lovely. Look at that. Look at that. Working to our materials, guys. Working to our materials. So let's see what the light situation is like. Now we've got some windows. 
There you go, look. Window above the shower cubicle, needs to be frosted. Window above the pooper, already frosted. Glorious amount of light in the toilet. The sink's gonna go there. Yes, and then when the stairs are in, we'll cut out, cut out here, so this will be an understairs cupboard for storage of loo rolls and hand soaps. Nice, all the staff room's all boarded now. So that's all boarded up. Well, hey, nearly boy. So yeah, staff room's all boarded, insulated, power's coming through. We do want to put a window on the back here. So that's another little job. We'll obviously do it so it doesn't meet a window on the back. So we have still got a couple of spare windows. Yeah, one with a top opener and a big opener, and then just a big opener, probably more technical term. Uh, next job on the list is we're gonna have a bit of a tidy up, and I almost finished clearing this room, uh, ready for paint. So we're gonna get this all cleared, get this all cleared out. <clears throat> uh, mask up the windows, sweep, sweep it out, and yeah, give it a lick of paint. Crazy. It's properly getting there. Ha oh, ha ha. And I think they're cracking on with the drainage connection as far as I can tell. The muck away pile is increasing somewhat. Could be three, could be four loads of muck away there. Mm. Yes, where is everyone gone? Is it coffee time? Well, drainage is coming on. Look, I've got the trench all the way sorted, I can see the end of our new pipes just in there somewhere. So they've got to get this through to under our boundary, reinstate it all. Jobs are good at it. Mm. Right guys, we had a coffee, now it's time for paint. We're going to get all of this painted. We're going to get this corridor painted. We're going to get the staff room painted. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And if we can get there, get those all painted as well. Bosh. Set you up on a bit of time lapse. And you guys can watch paint dry. Hey, Dane's Low, your one stop shop for great content. <laughs> Paint on me. Pablo Picasso here, look. Huh. Huh. Hi guys, we've basically got a coat over the entire ground floor of the Dainslow offices. So the shop had a lovely coat all the way through here. It's looking bright and fresh. The staff room, there's still a bit of cutting in to do around the edges, but that's all had a coat. The ladies' toilets hasn't been done yet, because we need to, we're gonna leave these walls off until we've got pipe work in. And the men's, just cutting in there. Yes, we are, Jack. We are cut, cut, cutting in. And then we've got a bit of a sort of a wood store around the side here, which we could probably put in the container. It just doesn't mean it means double handling or triple handling or quadruple handling, but that's what we like to do. So we can really know what we've got. Uh, yeah, there's windows and that can go and all. Three coats we got. Yeah, Sam reckons three coats. We've already used, uh, what are those sort of medium sized tins? Five litres? Yeah, about 30 litres. 30 plus the, that big one, which was is- That's five. One in your hand? Yeah. Oh, what, they're two and a half, are they? Yeah, probably about 30 litres to do one coat. 
So we need a bit more paint. Yeah, but in a second we'll go for our water. Yes. Yes. Well, let's get cracking on with the second coat and see what we get to. Just loading the skip up, the skip, the bin, to put in the skip back at the yard. Nine times that's coming handy. All right, crack it on. Hi right, guys, I look like a plasterer's radio. Yeah. What thing? Uh, you, I don't know if you heard that, but Sam said it'd be nice to have a poo down the new yard. Are you on a phone? Uh, so, I'm sort of. What are you on? I'm sort of on the phone. Who are you talking to? Well, the, the lovely people of YouTube. Oh! <laughs> Who are you talking to, he said. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, it's the end of the day, Tuesday. We've got a good coat of paint across the whole port cabin and almost a second coat in the shop. They've finished the drainage now. They've just got to reinstate. So tomorrow we're going to start digging for those last manholes and get the pipes connected. Uh, we've got to put a flow controller in the surface water, which as far as we can tell is just a sort of restrictor. So that's fine. And then we can get the plumbing sorted at the other end. Yeah, you're starting to talk like a drainage expert. Uh, I'm not starting, mate. I am a drainage expert. Was, some people are born like born this way. You're, you today, last week you were a drainage expert. Today you've been a painter's mate. I'm a painter, painter decorating expert today. I've, I've worked out that paint goes I've on. Not been painting. Paint goes on the wall. Clean as a whistle. Me. Clean as a whistle. No, but good day. It's nice to get some paint on the walls. It transforms the area. Mm. Yeah. You've just got to get some toilets on site now. Yeah. And Chunky hasn't got to drive off to have a poo. Uh, pardon me, dirty boy. We uh, just keep pushing along, that's all we can do. Right then, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, bright and early, Wednesday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we will. Morning! It's Wednesday morning today. Wednesday for all day. So, plan of action. We're just making a plan, aren't we, Jack? Yeah. We're making a plan. We're going to... What are you measuring, mate? I'm measuring these... Is it growing an inch, is it, mate? These lovely curtain heaters that we got from Graham. You remember Graham previous episode? Graham! We got these curtain heaters, like you have in a... Look, it's oh, proper blurry. blurred up. What's going on here? Blurry. Hello. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I've been blurred out like a crime watch. It's still blurry. Anyway, fan heaters. Yeah, fan ah. heaters. Ah. Jack's uh, measuring them up. Measuring to make sure we've got enough space between the ceiling and the top of the door, and we have. We've got 300 mil to play with. 300 mil. If we mil. hang these on the second loop of the chain, these are 250. So lovely. So we've got plenty of room on the fan heater. So when you walk through our doors, you'll be warm. We're making a plan of action for today. We've written a list. We haven't written a list for a couple of weeks now. So we've written a list. Chunky and Andy are going to get on concrete panels. They're going to load them all up here on the flatbed, bring them down to the yard, and then we're going to try and offload them with the nine tonner. Now that'll go one or two ways. It'll either work or it won't. But we'll see. Yeah, That's lovely, have, Chunky. We have got the three tonner down there as well. We'll see how we get on. Uh, Jack and Connor are going to go get some more paint yeah. and some batten yeah. and we're going to seal the windows up today and give the whole inside three coats. It's had one, so it needs another two coats. That's all the painting done, so we're ready for flooring, skirting, electrics. Um, and we might have a little play about with scraping all the surface up ready for drainage because that's going on this week. They're into our yard now, so we've got to connect them up. We've got to bring the two elements together, haven't we? Yeah, we have. In order to get what we want down, down. Yeah, and also uh, we should get- Look, the... it's still blurry. It says on my phone here, look, more light required. Yeah. What's it, going on? It's because it must be, must be a scratch on your case where the camera is. No, because I had it off the other day, cleaned it all. Yeah, cleaned it, it didn't unscratch it. Well, it wasn't scratch. It didn't buff it. It wasn't scratch yesterday, mate. It must be. Uh, flag poles. Flag poles. Over there, look. There, whoop, 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 whoop. flag poles. They're going up. Yes, continuity. Look at Jack's screen compared to mine. Crisp. I am rough and ready, and even my phone's rough and ready. So what you see from me is a blurry, uh, unedited 
non-crisp video. This is the way we like it. Isn't it right, Jack? Yeah. I'm going to show you flagpoles. Jack's going to show you flagpoles. So you'll see that on Jack's phone. Flagpoles inbound. Yeah, so... Non-crisp video. This is the way we like it. Isn't it right, Jack? Yeah. I'm going to show them the flagpoles. Flag so, 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 yeah, so again, these were, we got these from Graham, didn't we? Graham, Graham how much are these flagpoles? So we've got two, I don't know what they must be, five metres? What? Is that all scratched up then? Five metre flagpoles. So we're going to paint them black, bolt them to the gateposts, and get probably either stylised or uh, sort of printers, our oh, signage, yeah. or Kiwi our clothe people to make us some Dainslow flags. Uh, yes, that's the plan. Okay, guys. That's a bit better. I'll give it a little bit of a rub up. Sam's giving it a rub up. That's the phone, that is. <laughs> I'll give it a little bit, of a, little bit of a polish up, mate. A little bit of a polish up. A little bit of a polish up, mate. So Connor's making us a coffee. It's half seven. We're just about to crack on. Get everything loaded up. And we're gonna have another good day, aren't we? Yeah, I'm gonna try some uh, Asheville slash Every Trade oh, yeah, filming. Every trade. So we've been watching Every Trade. Now I come across him the other day. I said to Jack, check this old boy out. He seems all right. So we watched one yesterday. We watched another one this morning. He's just opened a little aggregate yard up with some grabs and stuff. So he's in the same ga ga that day game as us. Um, in that respect, I mean, I think he's more general builders yeah, in his main his main years, game. He's yeah. a few years, but he dragged in D and J, Dave from D and J. To give him a tour of the yard. Um, but yeah, no, he seems like a nice old boy. So we're gonna we're gonna him. drag in Dave from the shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, he seems like a nice old boy. Like and subscribe on him as well. Go and give him a check out. He's only been going Gosh. for three months, by the sound of it. We've three weeks. Six. Three weeks. Three weeks he's been going and he's already Nip. overtaken us. Yeah. <laughs> so let's try and balance it out a bit, guys, shall we? But yeah, no, he's alright. Go and have a look. Yeah, check him out. And uh Watch. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> Watch. Watch. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a wee and get loaded up. Okay. Here they come, look, professional drivers, the pair of them. Professional clowns. No, I'm joking. Hang on a minute. Yeah, no, obviously it wasn't Sam, but uh, obviously I'm, I'm pretty well known for vehicle damage. So whenever someone else damages a vehicle, I need to ride on it. I need to... I need to, yeah, Sam didn't have anything to do with it, but uh, Chunky came in here yesterday, all cavalier, gung-ho, swinging the transit in, and look, he rubbed past, rubbed past his glorious motor, and the sad thing is, I imagine that hurt Chunky more than it hurt us, he does, he looks after it, yeah, old Chunky, mate, I bet he was swearing at himself. Yeah. Yeah, we will, but we need to get it sorted, mate. So, chop, 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 chop. Right, what do we need today? So, as Sam said, guys, the job that Andy and Chung on today is getting concrete panels down the yard. Obviously, we've got to set the steels, cut the ones that need cutting and set the steels up. But then we've got to build the back wall. So, panels down, blocks down. Telegraph poles down because we'll storm down the yard until we build the workshop. Lovely. Go, 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 isn't it, Jack? It is. What is it? Go, go, go. Go to the go, to the go, to the go. We have uh, the world's most uh, intelligent and controlled forklift driver. Yeah, he gives the tests. We have the two inspectors on site here. How do you hear Connor's, you hear Connor's latest? No. Uh, Connor is planning to do his transport manager CPC. What did uh, that come about? Yesterday he was saying, I'm going to do it. He said, I'm going to run my own lorries, he said. Hey. Yeah. I mean, he, he passed his, he passed his theory on his 15th time. <laughs> so, trying to make CBC could be a bit of a tricky one. Yeah, a bit of a challenge for him. I mean, I think everyone can do anything <laughs> if they put their mind to it, but it'd be a stretch. So, we're getting them down the yard today, all them concrete panels ready for next week's installation jobs. Uh, telegraph poles are coming down there as well, just to get them away from here. 
and also to access the steels that are underneath all that lot. Yeah, the steels, yeah. You would have seen in previous videos the steel work. I can't Obviously, I've, I've told them many times now we're going to cut them and join them and yeah. them out, but that hasn't seemed to happen yet. No, it hasn't. Panels, these are our telegraph poles we're going to use to build a pole barn uh, at some point in the future. And, and then the steels. Nice raised flower beds. Yeah, some nice raised flower beds. Uh, yeah, or just anything really. Okay, well, they are the new flag poles. It's a it's a cheap bit of timber, really. They smell lovely, don't and they, they do smell nice. Yeah, there's all the steel work, guys. Lovely lengths of steel with a big enough web to receive our concrete panels. What we need to do is assess what lengths we're going to get out of them because some of them, as that like that one there, that needs to be cut back to a solid section. Oh. I mean, if that's the case, that's going back to there, isn't it? Let's face it. So it might be that we need another couple of steels. But they were free, the panels. So you can't grumble. Yeah. Garage, yard, painting. Hopefully you get less on me today than I did yesterday. More on Connor. Yeah, yeah. So, just got down the yard, new yard, <coughs> Jack and Legs are, they're on the rounds, they're getting a bit of bit of batten, a uh, bit of paint, my screen is still really bad, a uh, bit of batten, bit of paint, so they can get a second and third coat in the porter cabin, it's looking lovely, second and third coat in there, I've just moved the machines because I'm going to get on with scraping some bits up down there ready to connect our drainage. Chunky and Andy are on concrete panels, bringing them down here. Just got a coffee from uh, Dave's Fruit and Veg Emporium. Uh, just reading through the comments of today's video that dropped. Uh, which one was it? Aircraft hangar. It was that one. Just reading some of the comments. And as always, guys, lovely, lovely comments. Uh, I want to give Dazzler. What is it? I, I can't remember what the number is afterwards, but someone called Dazzler. He's just put a comment up saying that he watches it every week. It really cheers his week up and he's hoping that we're going to start doing a daily video because uh, him and his mates are going to definitely watch it. So Dazzler, good old boy. I like the way you put, put, uh, put nice comments like that, mate. It's lovely to always hear them, read them. Um, getting comments like that cheers our week up. So us putting our videos out cheers your week up and you cheer our week up by giving us uh, some feedback. So we're all cheering each other up, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? If you have a, Dane, a, a down day, just Danes lower it up. You know what I mean, mate? You cheer us up, we cheer you up. Everyone's a winner, everyone's happy. Look at the port cabins there. Don't they look nice? So yeah, like, share, and subscribe as you always do, guys. Uh, more comments, love, love hearing the comments. Cool, it smells lovely in here, fresh paint. It needs, yeah, another coat of paint. Look at this, look, look. Proper, innit? Another coat of paint, bit of skirting board around the edge, flooring first, then skirting board, and then some conduit, electrics, lights, plug sockets, that sort of stuff. So hopefully in the sort of midweek next week, this will be up and running, ready. So that'd be great. I reckon we get another, another two coats in here. Needs a bit of trim work here and there around the windows, but I can sort all that out. All the fancy, nice bits that you see, I'll sort them out. Yeah, we can't let Chunky or Andy do them bits. It'll be uh, look like a bomb's gone off. But yeah, even the staff room with a bit of uh, paint, it's really lightened it up now. So the staff room, we've got another window going in there eventually. Toilets and that. But yeah, nice lick of paint, look. It's transformed it. Obviously, all these walls are going to be covered up with posters and site rules and health and safety and all the stuff to be above board. But yeah, anyway... Keep on commenting, guys. We love it. Well done, Dazzler. So we're here, guys. I think Sam is a little bit of a video. We're gonna get the nine tonne bucket off, and we bought the smaller bucket so we can start digging drainage trenches down there. And Chunky, I think, is on his way with his first load of concrete panels. So we've got the joy of getting them off as well. We had a lot of rain last night. There's a couple of patches that are laying wet. And as you can see, now we're starting to bed in. It's starting to undulate a little bit which it will do as the sub base compacts even more. And then we'll just keep topping up and topping up and rolling and rolling. We need to buy a roller at some point because then we can just roll it daily or weekly. Uh, but it's hard as rock, man. 
It's lovely. We've got to get rid of that dirt. We've got to find a tip that's open. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of the tips are shut because it's wet. I say a lot. We ain't got many tips around here. But there is somewhere that we think we're going to take it. So that's nice. This plant's got to go back to these guys. Obviously, that was CS Mason's plant that they hired in. And we're going to move all the odds and sods that are left. We've, we did put some stuff upstairs, but we're going to move it down to this portal cabin because this is an even longer project than upstairs. So, yes, that's where we are, guys. And then it's all about painting again. Painting, painting, painting. And then we're going to do flooring, get the electrics in, bish bash bosh. We've got a little bit of a fence to put up here. We're going to mirror the, mirror the gate here. We're going to mirror that here with a fence because then we can park cars here and this is like a pedestrian entrance way from the yard you see safety first guys i don't know where chunky is and he's got here about five ten minutes ago but anyway see you soon We're just setting up for lifting these off. The, the full size panels are about two ton, and the nine ton will lift them. We're going to strop them up either end, hook it over, bosh, jobs are good. Em. Well, that short panel, a little bit piece, piece of uh, piece of cake. Any flex in the nine tonner. I think that's probably about a ton and a half, so yeah, easy. So the verdict is, guys, that it's on the limit of the nine tonner, but it lifts them off. It lifts them off a tree. So let's get this next one off, shall we? We're getting there guys, nearly got this second lot unloaded, a couple of right minging panels these two, compared to those ones, look they're pristine, brand spanking new pretty much, but the 9 tonners lifting them alright, it's just on its limit, a bit twitchy on the back end but she's doing it, 3 tonne drops, 6 tonne lifting capacity total, lovely, completely safe in every way. Yes, yes, yes. See what I mean about this one being rank, but that has definitely seen better days. We have to cut that back to where that split is. And look, there's a one break the other end as well, so we're going to lose most of this panel, I think. We might get half a panel out of it, but it is what it is, guys. Yeah, we'll do that, yeah. Yeah, so save buying like Lino for the bathrooms, isn't it? I'd rather buy two more panels and move that shit out. Yeah. Right, we, me and Sam, are going to take a trip to see Sean. Uh, Lance, you heard about Lance. Lance is the guy that bet Sam he wouldn't have finished his camper van by April. He is our go-to bricklayer, note the brickwork, 
top quality geezer uh, and they've had a little bit of a mishap with a Manitou telehandler like the one we used at the pond uh, so they called on us uh, because we generally have mishaps and get out of them so we're going to go and see if we can help rescue them lovely